These visuals are disturbing and can be triggering. The reason why we are showing it only partially. A technician who came to rectify something at a home attempted to strangulate an elderly woman sitting by herself in that house as seen in these visuals. These visuals are chilling. The woman with her grey hair resists with all her might, screaming in between. We are told she survived this attack and we ourselves are hugely relieved to know. However, we must remember around 14... Hundred, over 1,490 lakh Indians are senior citizens. Three-fourths of them are women. And by 2050, India's one-fifth of the population will comprise people above 60 years of age. Today, half of senior citizens' population live by themselves. High chances are that parents or grandparents living, your grandparents or parents or relatives are living by themselves in urban spaces and cities. And we want to spend some time to understand what must be some of the mandatory safety drills to be followed. But first, let me go across to my colleague. I'm being joined by Somit at this point. Somit, absolutely chilling video. We are not showing the entirety of it. What are the details we have at this point? When, what was, what really happened? Who was this man who entered this woman's house? What was the reason? We can say that, like you said, uh, you know, this woman, uh, you know, she's staying alone. And uh, basically, she was alone at that time. And uh, because, you know, elderly people normally they stay alone. And uh, the, uh, the kids and also the you know, children went to work and uh, they were outside. And basically, at that time, actually, uh, this person, later he was identified. Initially, everyone thought that he was an unknown person. But even we can clearly see in the, uh, you know, in that video, uh, he was he was inside the house premises. So he, with a towel, he tried to strangulate her. He was inside the house premises, and uh, you know later he also put his uh, you know uh, hand on the mouth of that woman, elderly woman, and tried to kill her. Basically, he has stolen four tula gold from her. And this incident came to light later because you know um, uh, fortunately we can say she survived that attack. And later, after you know the family members have arrived, they have. They have, you know, noticed this incident in the CCTV. This has happened on the 26th of the month, of this month, and uh, came to a light late. And, uh, you know, uh, initially they have, uh, you know, lodged a complaint with the local police station in the Vishakhapatnam, and uh, they have, uh, you know, uh, they have taken up the matter. A case has been registered. And, uh, you know, uh, they said that later the accused was identified as the local cable operator. So he came for some work at that residence and, uh, you know, uh, under the pretext of, uh, you know, uh, cable operating. And uh, there he came and later uh, he saw the, you know, uh, circumstances there and then he has attacked that woman. And uh, we can clearly see the scenario in the video. And uh, fortunately, we can say that normally, you know, uh, others wouldn't have survived that attack. But uh, fortunately, that woman has survived that attack. And later now police said that, you know, uh, the accused has fled away. They are uh, trying to nab the, uh, nab the accused and very soon they will be... Uh, getting the, uh, you know, uh, because they, already the search operation right. has been launched. So uh, very soon they will be getting the accused and, uh, they will, you know, the accused will be sent to the judicial custody is what we are hearing from the police now. Right. Thank you very much, Somit, for all of those details. I'm being joined right now by Dr. Meera Chadda Porvankar, who is a former IPS officer. Thank you very much, Dr. Meera Chadda, for joining us. What we've seen in these visuals are absolutely shocking. But... This is not just a nightmare. This is also a huge threat to a bulk of our population, the vulnerable of our population, the elderly, the elderly citizens who are living by themselves. Large part of the elderly people, they live by themselves, particularly in our urban cities. Firstly, what would you say would be the top three things that people living by themselves must be extremely careful for, careful of? And it's not just the elderly, really. You have people living with their small infants with their children or just by themselves what must be the top three things that they keep in mind first would be to have a guard second verify domestic help in this particular case it's the cable uh, operator don't open the doors give access to your place to unknown people in this particular case the person seems to be known uh, he's a local uh, operator of the cable 
un don't open the house to the unknown persons guards verification of domestic help and cctv in this particular case the detection is possible only because the cctv has clearly identified him and of course we are very fortunate that the elderly lady is survived and she can identify the accused absolutely 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 dr meera but you know when we talk about guards it it's expensive not everybody really can afford it particularly in urban india as well where mostly now people are living by themselves um for whatever reasons of the nuclear family whatsoever however when you're talking about don't allow people who are not verified to come in the chances are high that the that the tv is not working that's one of the reasons why an elderly really is depended upon tv is one of the biggest ways of entertainment as well or maybe the domestic worker for that day has not come or the tap is not working there could be so many issues and there may be a person who comes in to rectify uh, that particular complaint how does one really respond in situations like this uh, in this situation i would strongly recommend to either have your domestic help nearby or you call the neighbors i have invited a person to uh, say repair my uh, uh, water uh, water drainage or uh, say my tv and i am expecting an unknown person can you please come for 10 minutes whenever there is more than one individual generally the criminals don't uh, assault do not attack therefore my strong advice is one don't give access to unknown person in case you have to please ensure that somebody from the neighborhood is there with you i think that's a very practical solution quite quite honestly but at times such as these when we are looking at the numbers the stark numbers of the elderly uh, living by themselves for whatever reasons quite frankly accessibility to help or to go out to meet somebody who is living right next to you may not always be a very practical solution also but still i guess they must insist on something like that many times you're living in not in flats you're just living in houses that are you know by themselves then i would very strongly recommend that call help in the sense if you're calling a technician if you're calling a repair person when somebody in the family is around you in case they are not around you please take uh, uh, um, take the help of your neighbors or your family members who are nearby but i want to flag another issue that is we expect our beat constables right. to be very friendly to be checking on senior citizens they do but our beat constable is overwork number 1 number 2 i would very strongly recommend that Absolutely. we all should be pressure for expeditious trial of these cases now this particular case i would register as an attempt to murder along with robbery if this case is tried within one year and right. this accused is punished the message would be so strong that none in the locality in the neighborhood in visakhapatna would dare to assault a single lady at home absolutely you made some very important points um thank you very much for joining us on such an important issue our attempt really to bring the focus again on 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 issues that we can bring a change for that matters and with so many people who are living by themselves these are some basic precautionary measures that all of us must ensure and as the police officer said of course beat constables are there and they have a role irrespective of whether they do or not you and i must ensure that we really check on the elderly and the vulnerable who are living in our neighborhood time and again thank you very much ma'am for joining us on this issue thank you thank you